Still on the economic fallout from COVID-19, Chair of the Joint World Bank IMF Development Committee, Barbados Prime Minister Honorable Mia Motley has made a plea for rich countries and financial institutions to provide more support for developing countries to negotiate the ravages of the pandemic and climate change. Here's to Sankin English Francis. She made representation for the region as chair of the Joint World Bank IMF Development Committee at the 53rd session of the Conference of African Ministers of Finance, Planning and Economic Development. Prime Minister Motley compared the significant disparities in developed and developing countries' response to the crisis, including the capacity of rich countries to deploy massive capital for stimulus. So while the advanced economies spent 8% of GDP to boost their economies, developing countries could only struggle to spend 1% or 2% of GDP. Third, our public and private financing flows have either disappeared or been too little too late. The inadequacy of the DSSI is something for us to reflect upon. This has been the centerpiece of the international community's response to COVID. This debt service suspension initiative really needs to be examined by us. While the advanced economies have added near $11 trillion of new debt, the relief that the 72 low-income countries eligible for relief under the debt service suspension initiative will be in the vicinity of $11 billion a thousand times smaller. She said the relative success of regions like CARICOM in managing the pandemic has served to hide the real devastation of COVID-19 from the world. I seek your support this morning for a recycling of the $500 billion of SDRs that better matches the problem and the problems we face. Additional fast dispersing resources are necessary. Firstly, to scale up the resource transfer needed to address COVID and climate change, we call upon the rich countries to pledge half of their new and their unused special drawing rights, to recapitalize development banks like the African Development Bank, the Inter-American Development Bank and the World Bank, the Asian Development Banks. They must use this capital to leverage more long-term lending to those heavily impacted by COVID and by the climate crisis, to support green, yes, resilient, yes, and inclusive development, yes. The current resources available to the regional development banks are not sized for an economy stopping pandemic. They've not been sized to deal with the climate crisis and how it is impacting us disproportionately, particularly those of us between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. But it is not just the level of lending that matters, it is also the speed with which it is lent. Our needs are immediate, and the development banks have been well-meaning, yes they have been, but they've been slow, with lending tied up in efforts to draw up conditionalities and with the staff blaming their boards in many instances. We've experienced this in the region, our region. We are in the middle of a pandemic. We should not need to ask, but countries that have suffered double-digit declines in GDP last year need genuinely fast dispersing long-term budget support. Barbados Prime Minister Honorable Mia Motley ending that Caracom News Time report.